Well, it's a little late, and I hope you'll forgive my tardiness. I got sick over the weekend and kind of lost my voice for a bit, but we're back to about 80%, so good enough, right? This week's focus is on the upcoming Xbox One release of Rocket League, which I think actually by the time I get this out will have been released. It's a game I've been hearing a lot about in recent weeks, and one I think I may have to pick up. The article gives us a little canon info on the special Warthog that will be present in the Xbox One version of the game, and boy is it... <laughs> something. 2. E. Birch, Motorsport Manager AMG Transport Dynamics, from T. Jenkins, Special Projects Director AMG Transport Dynamics. Response, Project, Hog Sticker. Marketing Deck Proposal. The Motorsport Division of AMG Transport Dynamics has a time-honored tradition for flexing their engineering muscle through competition, whether it be through their 24 hours of Kazon winning prototypes, or their dynamic and durable rally hog models. One of their intriguing projects is a highly modified M12 Warthog called Project Hogsticker, which features a number of exotic composites to reduce weight and the enclosed cockpit monocoque from the M12 GT for increased structural rigidity. The most prominent feature of the peculiar new vehicle is a certain pair of experimental and visually unmistakable blamite afterburners that provide insane levels of increased thrust on demand. Lovingly dubbed the Needle Hog among crew and engineers around the paddock, Project Hogsticker represents a bold and exciting new chapter in the Warthog's already storied history. Potential sponsors, Frank's Formed Fish, Blast Energy Drink, Club Arrera. Verdict, funding denied. Project fits no known series homologation. Additional notes, Eric, this is cute, but no. Where in the Sam Hill would something like this even compete? I have supported plenty of your more unconventional ideas before, but Blamite Afterburners? That's over the top even for you. Let's maybe quit the daydreaming and turn our focus back to, <clears throat> shall we? <laughs> Poor Eric. Andy's had other unconventional ideas in the past. <laughs> I have to wonder what else he's proposed and what we might have seen of his work, if anything. Also of interest are these potential sponsors. Frong's form Fish first appeared on the map Longshore. Blast is featured prominently throughout Halo 2 Anniversary. And interestingly, Club Herrera is mentioned. I guess they're either a franchise nightclub or they set up a new location after the fall of Reach. Moving forward, we have a couple community questions. The first asks about other surviving Sanchayu. In short, there are some out there, but numbers are currently unknown. The second question asks if other UNSC vessels have war game simulators. We've talked in the past about Anvil Station and the Minera platforms, but never other ships. Indeed, there are ships other than the Infinity, mostly post-war models, that feature such facilities, though the one on Infinity has features customized for the nature of their crew and missions. The size and scope of these other facilities, of course, varies based on needs and resources. Next up, Grimm notes that the next CF snapshot calls for images of the UNSC Hornet. Check the description box for the link to the submission thread for more info. And finally, we close with a link to the recently announced deal between 343 and Mattel. In short, while continuing the line of Mega Bloks and Boomco products, this means Mattel will be producing new action figures, RC products, and more. Link to the announcement is in the description, but to me the highlights were a Mega Bloks set of the Fox Cannon, a vehicle cut from Halo Wars, a Boomco Spiker, a description for it specifically mentioning Halo Wars 2, and an Energy Sword toy. <laughs> Just when I thought Halo couldn't find any more ways to rob me of income. Anyway, with that we wrap up the main article and come to our universe entry for the week, the Z110 Directed Energy Pistol, aka the Bolt Shot. The bolt shot as we know it came into prominence almost a century into the Forerunner Flood War and has multiple functionality settings. <laughs> Alongside the default variant, two others are known to exist, Open Hand and Closed Fist, both of which were once utilized by the Promethean warrior known as Endurance of Will. How they found their way into the war game simulator remains a closely guarded Oni secret. And that does it for today. Thank you as always for your patience. Thank you. And until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you. Profusely, thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.